Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Prism and welcome back to XCOM 2. Last time uh, we went on once again uh, defend uh, resistance outpost from Advent Retaliation and even though it did went well uh, there was some uh, minor hiccups along it uh, but luckily no one died. So that's always uh, good. Now let's uh, check out uh, what we can uh, actually get uh, on uh, proving grounds because I think we are going to need some more new experimental stuff but uh, should we get the experimental ammo this time or more experimental grenades I do like uh, these grenades but I also want to see what else we can make uh, on the heavy weapons department. I think I'll go with uh, just uh, just 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 everything is so nice and only I only have one uh, core. I think I'll go with uh, just grenade. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And aside from that, I think uh, there's not much else. Let's uh, go back here and uh, finish building that relay. Hmm. We got to use some intel too, but... I think uh, this is... Uh, we better just go and build this relay. And we got second exosuit. Good. For another Grenadier. And there goes that midnight raid, so recruitment is uh, more expensive now for one month. Let's just hope uh, we can uh, survive uh, without needing to get uh, more, more personal before that. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. And finally got the Psionix research done. New item available, advanced Psy Amp and new facility Psy Lab. So let's just continue. Psy Lab. The Psy Lab will allow rookie soldiers to train as Psy operatives Substituting standard soldier training for intense mental ordeal that will unlock their latent psionic balance. And advanced psi amp. This evolved version of the psi amp channels the user's psionic energy far more clearly, enable greater psionic strength in our operatives. Psy offense and psionic attack damage of some abilities is improved when carrying this advanced amplifier. Okay, and we get the sealed bearer out of sea as instant now, so let's do that right away. Same goes for Muton, so might as well do that too if we have that uh, not done yet. Let's start with the sealed bearer. Physically, the advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of advent's forces and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. New proving ground project available experimental armor. That sounds interesting. Our autopsy of Advent Shield Bearer gave us some ideas regarding new vest designs that, by incorporating recovered Elerium cores, could increase soldier survivability in dramatic fashion. Well, we need to do that next, but. Let's finish up this Muton autopsy now. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. 
As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse. And I must say, it is quite disconcerting. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. New item available, Advanced Grenade Launcher, the Proving Ground Project available, Plasma Grenade. So, little bit uh, effective grenades. Our Advanced Grenade Launcher uses magnetic technology to propel the grenades further than our conventional launcher and grants a larger effect radius to any launch projectiles. Ooh, nice! I like that! And plasma grenade. In studying the aliens' more complex explosive ordinance, we concluded that the best means of advancing our own grenade designs was to scrap the conventional composition entirely. In its place, we have theorized that Ellerium based detonator could be the key to assembling a substantially more lethal and destructive weapon for our own troops. And then, what should we then? Research next. Elarium takes the uh, most longest time, but it also seems most useful to me. Hmm. But we could. Uh, also research one of these to get uh, plenty of intel while uh, we work on uh, everything else. I think we will go with uh, one alien data catch decryption here and then uh, continue with uh, Elerium. It, uh, it's going to take uh, one week. I'll see that work begins immediately. Commander, I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Hopefully we can find some uh, more scientists in the meanwhile. What can I do for you, Commander? But before that, let's uh, see what uh, we can build here. New weapons. Hmm. I kind of want to save for this one. I just need one more, or three more supplies for that. Anything else that we could... Well, we could use everything here, but uh, we lack uh, supplies once again. So I let's check out the proving like grounds. In the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Actually, I think I'm... Uh, if I can, going to cancel this experimental grenade, or should I? Now I want that experimental grenade, but hopefully we can get some more cores quite soon from missions. Maybe there are some in black market too. I'll have to check that once I finish building this relay. Reading you loud and clear. There we go. And now, Avenger flying to the black course. market. Market is open. Let's see. We could uh, rush uh, our research of Advent Turret and get some uh, alien alloys, but nothing uh, that uh, could be actually really useful for us. Except e alloys could be, but I don't think uh, this is where we should spend our intel this time. So let, let's just make uh, contact with the new Chile and get that uh, alien facility open. Only 15 intel. Setting course for the Chilean control district. Attempting 
Trying to establish local regional contact. And we got the Fleming uh, done with the specialist training. Let's set up a new new soldier there. All right, we can we actually build that uh, Psy facility now? So not actually, it was Psy lab, but no, we miss. Uh, we need more supplies. Because I could, uh, I think I look. I'm going to. I'm going to make these uh, rookies I have this for all psi operatives. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So. Not going to put the uh, next soldier in training here and uh, just go back to scanning. And I forgot to sell uh, something to get that uh, grenade launcher. Well, uh, let's just hope I don't need it. Power relay now operational. There we go. And I think we can put the workshop Kremlin in work here. So we get the more power of our entire facility. Can I start clearing up this? No, everyone is busy at the moment. But I need to get the Shadow Simper and Psylabs built as soon as I can. Well, back to scanning then. Hopefully, finding some supplies. Incoming message for you, Commander. Ah. Patching it through to your quarters There we go. Now. We needed this supply drop. You have drop. made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Okay. And there's that uh, resistance informant still uh, preparing. Then uh, vigilance. Bit harder uh, for us to catch them unaware, but what's uh, this hidden event? We can afford to reveal it. Not again. Well, looks like we have our choice made. If uh, there's a chance to stop one of these, it's going to be this major breakthrough once again. And let's get that supply drop. Avenger plotting new course. We need those uh, supplies to build those new facilities and get new guns and ah, uh, get everything. There we go. And new mission. Extract VIP from Advent City, Dr. Stephen Hawking, scientist, and 101 Intel. Definitely going to go and do this. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. And we should be able to afford to, to build that uh, grenade launcher for this mission. I'm going to cut this uh, once again and uh, make up my squad uh, selection. I will be right back. So, here is our squad uh, for this mission. Bringing uh, Aaron of uh, Alexandria as our sharp shooter. Need to train up uh, my squadies too. Also, bringing uh, Bell, our second squadie, this mission. Then, bringing out uh, Kepler. Second Grenadier, bit more experience under his belt. Then, of course, bringing Kelly along, and uh, I have him. Uh, I have her equipped with a skull mine or skull jack. Then uh, bringing out uh, Archimedes as our hacker specialist, 
and then um, Kailun as our healer. So let's uh, go and uh, get uh, Stephen Hawking. Deployed. In position for deployment. The spokesman gave us the location of a VIP stranded somewhere near our AO. He'd like us to secure the area, rendezvous with the target, and provide an escort out of there. I don't think the resistance would ask if it wasn't important. Operation Precision and uh, area is. Advent Security Area, Kansas City. We are going to Kansas. And mission is starting now. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Except for Kelly, it is so going to move her first, like always. Yeah, I think I'll go across the roofs here. Over this roof, and then uh, just over a uh, street to here. That sounds like a somewhat okay plan. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And moving her cover here. No enemies over there, so we can just uh, dash everyone along this side. Archimedes, go next to Kelly. Solid copy. Kailun. In the cover over. There. Everyone just up here. Simple as that. Going to leave that uh, for our uh, VIP. Got it. And uh, since uh, aliens uh, conquered, conquered, yeah, Earth, I think uh, one of the persons that uh, got uh, that gene therapy treatment might have been uh, Stephen Hawking because uh, he can now walk. As you know, he is uh, quite wheelchair bound in real life. Overwatch. There are some enemies ahead, so let's go with the uh, Kelly. Moving the designated coordinates. Some of them are inside, I guess. Hostile targets in sight. Yeah. Well, one of them is inside. Two are outside. But still leaves us enough room to get uh, on this roof over here. And if I move Kelly in this corner, I can see street over here. Closing on target position now. Everyone else uh, just uh, dashing. 
Got it covered. And they saw Archimedes. Oh dear. Um, they can jump. They can jump. I'm busted. Well, that wasn't good. That really wasn't good. So let's get the bell closer. Moving on target location. And uh, let's use frag uh, on these two. Can we get it uh, without destroying that ladder? Yes, somewhat. Frag out. Maybe we can uh, drop them both. Yes, they fell down, but that didn't kill them. So, not so good. They still have some... Uh, something left in them. Kailun has 100% chance to hit from there. Twice, actually. But What's still going there? to move him uh, closer. Can I get them both with the basic frag? No, I can't. They are just enough in the cover there. But I can put him on overwatch. I can't uh, reach them uh, with anything else. Heron, take that shot. Good. Enemy neutralized. Good, good. Then uh, time to move uh, Kepler. Cover over here, I think. But in position. That should uh, allow you to shoot that other mech. Or maybe not. Can you get it with the... this? I think you can. This is uh, just blindly shooting, but it should uh, hit that uh, other mech. Give us a kind of a cover from that uh, officer. Going to have to move Hawking up here, I think. Because I need to get him out, but uh, he's also quite far away. Kailun is going to stay on Overwatch. This is a little bit of risky move, but I'd rather um, get him as close uh, to extraction point as possible. And Kailun on Overwatch now. Oh dear. Luckily that's not missed. Incoming over here! Find some cover! Let's move uh, Archimedes. What do you can have? Oh that. Let's see what kind of uh, we have uh, here.
this might actually be... Gain control of random enemy for two turns. And uh, quite a good chance to actually get it. So let's uh, do that. We could easily gotten that uh, all robotic enemies control. But like they say, hindsight is best wisdom. I think I'm going to move him to cover here anyway. And I... What the are aliens you? cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. That's something new. I don't recognize. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm not liking this at all. Thirty-nine percent chance to hit from there. Not good. How about Bell? Can you get uh, in any way good position to hit them? Only if you move down, and uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that either. Yeah. This. I'm not liking this at all. And that would uh, cause you to get the uh, acid burn, even if I want to do that. No, nope. not going to. Can I get in? Not really. I can handle that. Telly, move here. And then uh, see if you can uh, hit them. Can you actually reach them with grenade? Not really. You might be able to kill uh, that Viper, but uh, I worry about that Archon, what it can do. Do I want to let it uh, do something this turn? <sighs> I'm save that shot for later. Because I think I need to get Kepler. Or someone. I got Heron too here, but... Uh, too many choices here. Too many choices. I think uh, getting a Heron uh, up here this turn yeah, by dashing is best choice we have. And Kepler half cover here and maybe shoot something he if you can. You can only shoot him. Yeah, take that shot. No critical hit, but at least it was damaged anyway. And... Kailun... On cover here. Hopefully you can finish off that officer. Completely not. And Bell is also in 
not very good position here. I think I'm uh, actually going to use uh, Bell's uh, second grenade. Or only grenade. Or was it second? I think it was second. And destroy this officer. Officer's cover and uh, that armor. I hope for best. Moving Hawking over here and hunker down. And now. Yeah, Kelly, take out that uh, Viper, it's our best. Uh, best. Good. Now that Arkon can do something, I hope it's not uh, deadly for us. Alright, I can uh, reposition uh, Kelly here. So I'm going to move her over this corner. Seems doable. And there's our advanced trooper. And we Looks like we triggered all the groups. Kelly is flanked, but... Oh! They fell down. This looks a little out okay. No! What's happening? And no, this, this isn't right! This isn't right! Well, panicked. Blazing opinions. What? Oh, hello. Um, that doesn't look good. And they do. Kelly. Just great. That feels so good. Oh dear. It's going to hit the uh, bell. It's going to hit bell. If I move for uh, Archimedes over what can I actually do here? Could I actually... no. It would be too easy. Kailun. Can I get... If I move him here, can he, he hit that uh, wiper? But I actually might need to use it for get the bell out of that panic, so I can move him to safety. So Kyle will so. move a little bit forward. And then you use that revival protocol. Well, bring him up. And then we can use Bell to attack that Viper to free up Kelly. You can't uh, actually get uh, this cover here. 
it's another hand is good because if I move him here, he's out of those pin whatever pinions they are, and uh, then uh, still in uh, range, still in cover from that archon itself. Good copy. Moving on target. There we go. Sixty nine. Nice critical. Enemies down. This one might and there be was aliens. some loot. Elerium core and advanced autoloader. Good. Got your stuff here. Now we need to move Kepler. But he can't get up anymore because... Well, he could uh, from there, but that's not uh, good either. So if I move him uh, along this side of the building, could, see, uh, could he actually hit it from there? I hope so. If not, there's still that, yeah, that officer. Don't miss. And that frees up Archimedes. Bersaglio eliminato. And uh, I got this trooper here too. Actually, if I use uh, him to grenade uh, them all here. Just have to make sure I don't destroy those ladders, so I can still get up. Hopefully this is a good enough place. Or actually, no, I need to deal dam damage to himself too, because I'm going to lose that mind control at some, some point. Yes, I'm sure. But it destroyed that, that ladder I needed. He can uh, see me from there, but not from here for some reason. I'm going to risk it and move Archimedes that. here and uh, hit that uh, Archon. Well, that was an uh, interesting miss. And it frenzy, of course it did. And it has one extraction. Just my luck. I kind of want to do this, but uh, I also need to move him. 
slightly better cover from that Archon. No, I'm going to take this and regret this later. I need to get that codex out. Dealt with. And it uh, dodged that. I need to get Hawking down some kind of full cover and hunker down him. Over there I guess, I hope. And Kelly I can move uh, to deal with that uh, codex. Actually, you can flank that. So if I move Kelly here, I can do reach that. So Kelly moves here. She is uh, in cover from that, uh, and uh, can hopefully still uh, shoot that. Uh, you can actually flank everyone. Can you reach with you, your frag? No, it's just slightly too far. Slightly too far. Six damage. If we can uh, get this, uh, it would deal with that uh, shield completely. Yeah, let's take that and hope for the best. Good. It was even critical. It. Well, how about that? And next is impeccable move. I can move her little bit further. Here. No problem, boss. Risking a flank here, but yeah, that I'm was close. Flanked. Oh dear. Okay, Yankees, it's time to move endo. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank. Thank you, that missed. And here comes Codex, and Kelly is in danger. No problem with that, no problem. And here comes that Mick. Overwatch. I'm okay with that. Trooper on Overwatch, not so okay. Everyone is in Overwatch. Menace one five, be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. We still got uh, eight turns. Not too bad, uh, in my opinion. If I move uh, Archimedes. Down here. And deal with that codex. Oh dear, that's uh, too far. Well, that hit me. Oh! Maybe... Let's see what kind of chances we have here. Because if uh, we can uh, get him... Oh, nice!
should I rather go with the just stunning it? Or take complete control too? Going to pay, play it safe and uh, just stun it. Ooh. I'm glad I did with uh, just a stun. We're in. It's also a little bit of breathing room here. Now let's uh, use this. This trooper here, and uh, let's hopefully trigger that uh, codex's uh, overwatch with him. Hopefully, killing him that. Well, uh, not uh, if uh, that would would have missed, it would have been a little bit better, but that's okay too. Now, deal with that Archon. But how? Because we still have that codex to deal with too. Going to move uh, Bell over Bring here. Out. And then shoot at that. Archon missing completely. Running low. Yes, I know. I know. I'll have to move uh, Kepler here. Let's see. Two turns, two turns. I, s I can still make it. Move Kepler here. Why is it having so defense? Okay. Just take that shot. <laughs> and it dodged even. Un colpo da poco. Passatemi delle munizioni. That Archon is too strong, way too strong. Seventy percent chance from there. But What's over there? I need to get that codex uh, if uh, I can see it from here. No, I can't. Sixty-one percent chance. Zero percent uh, crit. I'll have to take this shot. Seven damage. Now, Heron. If I move him uh, over here, okay, je me dirige vers la cible. and then uh, just uh, using pistol, or I need to use grenades. I completely forgot to make those plasma grenades I was going to. So just uh, on pistol overwatch. Half King. I need to get him in a good place, but there is no good places. There is no no good places for him. That's a dangerous move, but so is this one. But it. It's still a slightly better. Or how about skull mining it? That trooper. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This thing didn't work! And. No luck. 
I left too many of them alive. Well, uh, just uh, slash it. Yeah, you're not going to move from there. But got that trooper out Did of the way. And we can move her in the upstairs in cover to avoid the any monster bird. But actually, I that's not a so good choice here. But it, she would be safe from a flank for a little bit. Yeah, go, go over there. I think. I'm going. And now Stephen Ho Stephen Hawking. He is in a quite a pickle here. I need him, but I. Don't really have her good places to put him in cover. Go on bull cover there and hunker down. A few mistakes here. And Mr. Pistol. Kepler, don't die. Don't die. Oh! Luckily, he didn't die. And Archimedes is also kind of safe. Oh dear, Kelly, 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 no, nope. not the Kelly. Ah. So let's see. If I use combat protocol on that codex here, removing that Overwatch, I can move Archimedes closer. Actually, I can move Kepler ahead. While I'll move Kylon here and heal Kepler. Okay, I'll go. How good shot. Not very good. So just healing Kepler here. Go heal him. And we now move him Mr. over here. And so that that Archon. Hopefully killing it. Then we can move rest of the squad. Yes. But first we're going to take a... Kelly. Actually, I can uh, use squad side. Uh, and hopefully kill that codex with the Heron. And it missed. So, going to use Kelly here. First reloading. Good to go. And then uh, shooting. It should kill it. There we go. You know that was good. And 
and uh, I can move Kelly here. I can handle that. And she can wait for the rest of the squad. And I'm going to dash with the rest of them while that uh, make is still in a shutdown. Stepping off. And next turn, hopefully get the, them ready to face that mech. Steven is the only one left to move, but I can move actually. So in full cover instead of anything else. Especially if that makes start to start some move. Yeah, like I feared. Oh dear. And I can't uh, actually use uh, Kepler for that. Did uh, Kelly have that? Uh... No, she doesn't have uh, that. So just take uh, that shot. Although that's not very good either. And uh, that make is uh, standing uh, right where I need to. Right in the spot where which I need to use uh, to get uh, everyone out of there. Can I get uh, Archimedes close enough uh, to not uh, trigger Overwatch from it? I'm not uh, sure about that, but I can uh, do this combat protocol. I remove hopefully that overwatch. There we go. And now we can move rest of the squad closer to deal with that. Pylon closer, and you can see it. So, going to eight protocol Kelly. So I can move her, or maybe not. Heron just uh, does. Bell on full Almost cover the there. Moving out. Hopefully you can see it. Make yes you can. Hopefully you can deal with it. Yes, there we go. Enemy and now down. we can uh, just uh, dash everyone dash up. I'm out. How far we can get the him? Not up at all. Not completely up. So, that's on the. That's over there. Kepler, Bardo. little bit ahead and uh, reload. In case there's reinforcement incoming. Sono di nuovo pronto. And Kelly, just on Overwatch. Moving on Overwatch. And let's get VIP secured now. Of 
followed by everyone else that can reach that evac position. Let's get starting from furthest away. Archimedes, go inside first. Then uh, Kailun, as far as you can go, except not uh, completely that far because I need to keep that place clear. So, over there. Already there. Can you uh, Kepler reach the evac point? Yes. Scato. Getting him out of here now. Going to keep uh, Kelly on overwatch there. Andiamo. How about Heron? Just barely too far away to do that, so... Go over there. Everyone else should be out of here on next turn. Evac. And uh, Kelly on Overwatch. Just, just in case. Nothing. So, just uh, no problem, boss. evacuating everyone now. Four turns left. Not even a, a repair. I'm out of here. But that Ar Archon, I'm not liking them at okay, she all. Confirmed. It in. Oh, I see, and Kelly is the last one out. I think. Seems doable. Packing it in. And we got ourselves uh, our new scientist. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And uh, five soldiers out of six uh, got wounded. Good work, Only one promotion for Alexander Penn. Hmm. We are beginning to see more of uh, those enemies with armor, so going to go with uh, Shredder with Penn. Only Codex Brain and uh, LR one Elerum Core. That's good. We can uh, put that uh, straight away into building that experimental armor. Hello, Commander. Steeper on Half King Scientist and uh, 101 Intel. And we got 
research speed now. And before we end that this today's episode, let's uh, put this uh, experimental ammo on, armor on the quail before we forget. Right away, I'll send word when the project is complete. There we go. And I think that's everything for now. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. Bye!